<laughs> oh, guys, welcome back. <laughs> Loki is so loyal, yo. Odin left. Odin left. I failed Odin for the last time. He didn't say that, if I could tell. He was disappointed. He left, and I think it's for good this time. He's like, you just, you can't be. He can finally see. I'm never going to be what he wants me to be. I, th I think he thought his iron wheel would work on me. No, that don't work, because the moment you take your eyes off me, I'm wandering back in the general direction I was going in. It's why Hermes don't even bother with me at this point. He's like, yeah, she's just going to go where she wants to go. I'm not bothering. Um, The gods I work best with are the ones that really don't put any restrictions on me, and they don't care what general direction I'm going in. Bastet doesn't care who I worship. That's why we get along real well, and neither of those Loki. Loki, eerily, is now completely calm about the Nor um, yeah, Norse gods, Greek gods. He don't even care if Pan's here. He's really relaxed and he can breathe. I think he was just agitated because <laughs> some people can serve them both. And for a while there, they were working together. But I think his brother kind of has this tendency to take over and push his way to the top. Because that's actually what he did in the religion. If you study history... Odin came out of nowhere. We don't know where he came from. And I, I know, if you're a by-the-book heathen, this might be hard to hear, but he came out of nowhere. We don't know where he came from. He was a mis mysterious, wandering god, and he took over. And then all of a sudden, he had these creation stories and everything else. And I'm not trying to be mean or destroy faith. We have to find out where gods evolved from. It has to be that way for everybody. And... It's in his nature, I think, to push his way to the top and take over and try to be the god of everything. But then he wasn't following through on his promise. The one thing you need from a god is if they, okay, if they want to take over, they can take over. But they have to actually be dispensing stuff. And he's just been getting bitter and mean lately and shouting that other gods can't do anything either. And he had me to the point where I was believing him. And then I'm thinking, no. I don't think everything in this world is algorithms. Um, I was having a problem on Pinterest, but I prayed to the universe, Loki, whomever in general, because I was desperate. I said, will you please send me a sign of what's going on? And I was starting to get all these atheist pins. And long story short, on all my boards, I try to be really inclusive. People of every color of the rainbow, people of every sexuality, people of every religion. I try to be inclusive. I really do. Do you know because I put one atheist video that was supporting gay people up, they thought I was an atheist? And I'm like, does that person have that much influence in this role that it, if you pin their pins, therefore you're an atheist? Is that how this works? Or is, you know, are they really messed up? But I was just doing it to give gay people of all, you know, stripes some respect because there are atheist gay people and there are Muslims and there are Jews and there are people of color and there are disabled people and I'm usually pretty damn inclusive but I was like if that is what is causing it that has to come down it's no problem with it being atheist but it's like if that's all I'm gonna get now is atheist pinned yeah that has to come down I'm sorry but it has to come down because I do have my beliefs and I get a little pissed off when they're challenged with each and every single pin so that kind of had to come down and I realized it was kind of, I think, Loki's answer, even though Loki is in the corner pretending he doesn't know anything. It was Loki's answer to, my brother is just stomping on me and stomping on you and stomping of everyone else and I can't fix this. It, Odin takes over. Odin's very territorial and takes over. I've met a few gods in my lifetime that are like that, that are very aggressive and territorial and they take over. Um, Some just have a big personality and the other guys kind of step off and that's different and some do want to be king or queen of the household but it's kind of in that sweetly arrogant way that everybody puts up with because it's like oh that's so cute but with him <laughs> i'm getting him he a bad boy <laughs> i'm getting that la <laughs> santa hated his guts <laughs> And La Santa loves everybody. La Santa didn't like him. She she disappeared. And Inari had disappeared. And gods were disappearing one by one. And I was like, what's going on? And Odin was working Odin's walls to try to get me to believe that, you know, it had always been Odin and Loki and nobody else. And that wasn't even really making sense. And I thought I was losing my mind. And then finally, Jehovah kind of looked over and was like, okay, 
This shit has gone far enough. I'm coming over and setting a couple things straight. And it wasn't, I want you to go to church. I want you to read the Bible. It was, you know what? You don't ever have to go to church. You don't ever have to read the Bible. I don't need your money. I'm God. I'm good. But <laughs> that is distinctly the answer I got. But it was, come look at these funny things on Pinterest. And I looked at these things, and I could tell it was God's sense of humor. Yes, this is still a Loki channel. But there was this experiment about showing God's, um, why Jesus died on the cross and it involves a penny and colored water maybe you've done the science experiment at home a candle and a cup <laughs> and these poor parents had read this and kept trying to do it and it doesn't work if you don't do it the exact right way and they didn't write it like that so poor jesus didn't save anybody from anything and i'm like trying not to laugh and i said well how can we like switch this around because what happens is if you do the science experiment correctly um the hot air creates a vacuum and then it will snoop up the water and you're safe from your sins um you know the water goes in colored water goes in and it's ooh, it's magic no it's science and <laughs> i hear giggling back here and i'm like how can we make this about loki and i'm like well that one's pretty hard okay because i'm like they really got it together pagan parents got crafts but nowhere near the amount and volume of sciencey crafts that um, Christian parents have, I have duly noted, trust me. And then there was one about baking soda. <laughs> what was it? No, 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 it wasn't baking so soda. It was Alka Seltzer tablets and colored water. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesus. <laughs> and you put this colored water on the table and then you drop the two Alka Seltzers in the water. I'm sorry, Lord. <laughs> And then you told people, you told the children that this is how excited Jesus gets when you pray. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what the hell does Jesus have to do with health and seltzer? Absolutely nothing, but little children, it will impress them. And I thought, what if we made this about Loki? And then I'm like, no, Loki, water and Elka seltzer and food coloring, no. I can see it up on the ceiling. <laughs> I could see gravity defying physics happening and it be up on the ceiling and Loki laughing and laughing and laughing. And the kids going again, again. <laughs> That's what I could see. I'm like, no, this is why we don't do this stuff for Loki. Exactly the same thing with the cup in the water. I could see disasters happening. I could see the uh, cup shooting up to the ceiling <laughs> for some unexplained reason. I'm like, no, we're not doing this with Loki. That's why we don't have these things for pagan gods. I forgot. Loki, that's why. So Loki's all happy, and we were just giggling. I mean, um, you know, I was raised Roman Catholic, and I was raised kind of before the time we had much crafts. And um, Roman Catholics, at least in my church, weren't so artsy craftsy with the kids anyhow. But um, some of these crafts were nice and some of them were silly. But one of them I clicked on and it went to my Norton popped up and it's like it was um, a um, scam. And I'm like, that's nice. They're trying to scam Christians. So that was nice. But it blocked it. So um I'm like, okay, but I, you know, I ran all my antivirus stuff and everything, and it did. It blocked it. It was just going to start robocalling me and saying, ooh, you have this virus. You know the thing you get? You probably got from Pinterest. Um, and what happened is, a while later, my usual robocall came through about being on vacation, and I'm like, it was kind of the sign from the universe or from Loki because the first thing Loki did when he realized that um, Odin was gone, he was like, Cheeseburger? I said, Loki, I said, we're going out for groceries. And we went out for groceries and of course they were sold out because the power went out. So everybody and their uncle went there and there wasn't, you know, anything I wanted. And I'm like, well, we're on a really tight budget. And he's like, Cheeseburger? And I said, okay, I can get you cheeseburger because then we can make the rest of the stuff stretch. That's why we actually go to the DQ to make the groceries we do get stretch. So he's he's good. He's happy. And it's been raining all day. So it's been kind of like try to find rainy day activities for Loki. 
I said, this is why I've actually been so stressed out. And this is why Loki's been so quiet. Odin's so dominating, at least he was in this household, that he just took over. And after a while, he saw he wasn't going to get what he wanted. That wasn't going to turn into what he wanted. And he got disappointed and he left. Now, I know Odin, guys. I'm prepared. He could be back right after this. He could be back in two days, two months, two years. I don't know if I said that this recording, but I'm like, I'm just, I'm not his kind of person. Um, The more I would play bibliomancy with that book, the more I thought, I'm not this person. I'm not going to sacrifice myself for you. And he looked at me absolutely horrified. I said, you want me to be ready to die for you? No, I won't die for Jesus. Jesus died for Jesus. I'm not dying for anybody i love loki but i'm not taking a bullet for that man he's god he can take it and look he's over in the corner like <laughs> i told you so um my unwillingness to die for god is why i'm not serving Odin anymore i'm like no i'm not dying for any god did you not figure that out i'm a sissy and i'm a pacifist i might own a gun but that's for self-defense man i'm not gonna die in a blaze of glory for you so it didn't work out because I'm a sissy and a coward. I'm like, you didn't get that? You didn't figure that part out? I can play a horror game designed for children and be screaming and up to 2 a.m. I'm easily scared. It only takes a couple creepy pastas in the middle of the day and I'm jumping because the boogeyman's in the house. I, I'm a coward, man. I'm not brave. So it's a huge weight off all of her shoulders. And you know, the funny thing is when there's not that agitating force, none of the gods are really pushing forward. They're just kind of here and like hanging out. Vesta was real happy with Berg and they were all happy. Um, and I just said, we're going to go back to working the way we were. If we want to work with God, we're going to work with God. If we want to say hello to Jesus, we are. If we want to go talk to Bethset or Sekhmet or... Yumiya had shown up last night because she was like, what is this about? Nobody from Africa is coming to talk to you? I'm sorry, Mama. I'm so sorry. What is this about? We are not coming to talk to you. Do you know how worried your father's been about you? I am so sorry. I, please don't kill me. I, I'm now wondering if all the water stuff was her. Like, pay attention, child. Pay attention, child. Your father is trying to get to you. Pay attention. And I'm like, I thought you gave up on me. I think Odin was just running interference, so I don't know. This may be steadily becoming the Voodoo channel as well. Because the Yogo that is, you know, the most closely related to is Beliano, and he, he is water and fire, so that would explain all the water adventures I've been having in this house. And the thing is, he'll be really quiet, and he'll let you keep walking into the same wall for all eternity, because he said even stupid can learn. <laughs> Though he also very encouragingly tells me I can't fix stupid. Um... <laughs> I am feeling the smell from somewhere. So at least, you know, the law didn't abandon me and the gods and goddesses didn't abandon me. It's just that Odin runs so much interference. Odin is all you end up dealing with. And that was unhealthy for me. Had it worked out, I would have been happy and singing his phrases. But zero of what he promised ever showed up. And I think the other gods have just been actually doing stuff without credit. Because if a god loves you, that's what they do. They don't need us to... We should say thank you. We should love them. But they don't need us to constantly be stroking their ego and saying, Oh, thank you. I love you so much. You did this and you did that. Occasionally, once in a while, if you want to thank them for everything, that's great. They kind of appreciate that occasionally. But don't, you know, you don't do it to the point where you feel like if you don't thank them for anything, everything, every little tiny thing, that they're going to get mad. They're not. They want us to enjoy life. They don't want us to be afraid of them no god in their right mind wants you to serve out of fear they want you to serve out of love so that's another reason odin left he was profoundly disappointed in me so yeah i washed out oh uh, so if you guys like what you see like comment and subscribe and i will see you later bye bye